Hi everybody, Claudia here with Healthy Preparedness. In this video, I wanna share with you um, three substances that I think will be a great blessing to us during a disaster situation. I've created videos about each one of these um, substances individually apart from each other, where I've talked about what they are and how they can be used. And in this video, I wanna compare these three because they're pretty similar in what they can do, but yet there are differences between them as well. Um, some people just think, well, if, if they all just kind of do the same thing, I might as well just get one and call it good. But I actually disagree with that. I think they all have such amazing benefits that can be used for different things. They have different strengths that are important to recognize and know um, what they are so that we know how to use them and we know why we're storing them. So these three substances are bentonite clay, diatomaceous earth, and activated charcoal. Um, so the similarities that these three have together is that all three of them are negatively charged substances, meaning that when taken internally or even used topically for infections, it has the ability to draw positively charged substances to itself. Those positively charged substances are things like viruses or bacteria, heavy metals, candida, parasites even, um, they attract those things to them and when taken internally they are able to trap them inside themselves or on themselves and we're able to eliminate them from our body. Um, another thing that they all have in common is that they all draw substances to themselves, not only because of that negative positive charge attraction thing going on, but it's um, also just because of what they are. So for instance, like all three of them have either adsorptive or absorptive abilities. And bentonite clay, for example, has both adsorptive and absorptive properties, meaning that substances, these positively charged su substances, are drawn onto the outside of each molecular structure, or, and it's also drawn inside. With diatomaceous earth, um, it has adsorptive properties, meaning that it's basically just uh, the positively charged substances are just being drawn onto it, the surface area. But because it's cylindrical in shape, it is also drawn onto the surface area inside the cylinder, which kind of helps uh, be kind of become like this trapping mechanism where it traps parasites or whatever inside of it, helps eliminate, helps eliminate that from our body. Activated charcoal is kind of similar to diatomaceous earth in that it too has kind of a porous surface for each molecular piece that's there and it has adsorptive properties and the, so it attracts things onto its surface area but also onto the surface area of the porous um, areas inside each molecular structure. Um, so those are the similarities between all three but yet there are differences as well and I think one of the best ways to recognize what those differences are is by focusing on the strengths of each one of them. So bentonite, bentonite clay's strengths are basically that it is just an amazing daily detoxifier. It is safe to take. It is gentle to take. It adds minerals to our body, adds silica to our body, and it's just so mild and effective. And it's an amazing daily detoxifier. Also, it is just full of voltage, so to speak. Um, electric ions that when applied topically has the ability to reduce pain by 80 or more percent, especially once it comes to things like burns, has an amazing ability for that. Um, I do believe that when we drink the, the bentonite clay, it's also increasing the overall voltage in our body and therefore helps us to heal more quickly as well. Bentonite clay is also great at alkalizing our body, which helps us to just have a stronger immune system and to um, help us to detoxify as well. With diatomaceous earth, the strengths of this substance is just that abrasiveness of it as it passes through our digestive system it is so great at just kind of cleaning away things that other substances couldn't, um, especially things like parasites or even candida. It's a great one at that. Um, for me personally, I don't know if I would take it constantly because it is abrasive. Um, even though it's not doing any harm to our body, it just, um, for me personally, I just, it doesn't seem like it should be something that should be taken every single day, but just off and on um, for weeks at a time, maybe even a couple months at a time or so. Um, um, but then it is also amazing for bugs. So to keep the garden bugs away, bed bugs away, fleas away, this is an amazing substance for that. That is something bentonite clay cannot do. Activated charcoal, its strengths are that you can take large amounts of this stuff. 
So taking large amounts of diatomaceous earth, it'd probably be okay, but because it's abrasive, I think we need to be careful with how much of it we take. Um, you don't want to take huge large quantities of it to try to draw something like poison that somebody has ingested. With bentonite clay, it is um, good for poisons, but it, you aren't able to take as much of it as you can with the activated charcoal to really just have a huge pow effect on whatever was taken internally that needs to be get, um, that needs to be drawn out of the body. So with activated charcoal, you can take large amounts of this, teaspoons of it, drink it again and again and to help get that out of the body, and it won't cause constipation like diatomaceous earth would. It wouldn't be too rough on the digestive system like diatomaceous earth possibly could. Um, I might have said diatomaceous earth there, so I meant bentonite clay. Um, and then also with activated charcoal, it can, it, you can create a poultice with it, um, and it has amazing abilities to treat wounds or insect bites, bee stings. Um, bentonite clay also has an amazing ability to treat bee stings and wounds, um, spider bites. These two are amazing for that. And diatomaceous earth, on the other hand, isn't all that great for that. It isn't meant for that it, because it's just sharp and cylindrical in shape. It just doesn't have that same drawing capability. I think it has some of it, but these two are definitely the ones that you'd want to use topically for insect bites and stings and wounds and even burns. So um, all three of these can be ingested. Bentonite clay can on a daily basis. This can as a cleanser, activated charcoal um, as a cleanser because it, can, it too attracts heavy metals and um, but especially great for toxin removal or poison removal. Um, so they all have their strengths and it's just amazing to see that. So, so I've created a PDF, uh, a printable PDF sheet that you can print out. The link is underneath this video, whether you're watching it from my YouTube channel or from my blog. And it's a guide basically. It's a guide saying, okay, if you have all three substances, based on all these different symptoms or issues that have come up, whether it be wounds or bee stings, whether it be toxin removal, radiation exposure, um, which of these would be the best option? What would be the second best option? Would any of them not be a good option at all for those? So that's what that PDF information sheet covers. So for example, if you're wanting to get rid of bugs, which one would you want to use? Well, you'd want to use the diatomaceous earth. Which one would be best for something like food poisoning? Activated charcoal would be my number one thing that I would go to for that. Bentonite clay would be my second best. And if I didn't have either of these, well, I could try some diatomaceous earth and see what it would do. For something like reducing pain, especially for something like a severe burn, I would definitely turn to bentonite clay. That's the number one thing I would turn to. Next, I would turn to, uh, I would, if I didn't have bentonite clay, I would try activated charcoal. And um, I probably wouldn't try diatomaceous earth for that one. Um, it just doesn't really apply to that or help that issue. So these are just some examples of what's going to be in the PDF information sheet. So I suggest that you go and print that off, keep it in your Beyond Wheat and Weeds book or somewhere in your home storage and um, buy these substances. They can be purchased in bulk. Usually that's the best way to buy it. Um, activated charcoal, what I always do is I just look at Amazon and see what the best prices are. You want food grade for all three of these. With the activated charcoal, I just look on Amazon and see um, is it food grade? Is it made from either coconut shells or from hardwood? And then I just get the pre best priced one that seems like it comes from a repu reputable good company. Um, with diatomaceous earth, I purchased it from Alpine Food Storage in 25 pound bags. It, um, it's $25, about $25 for the 25 pound bag, making it like a dollar per pound. And I know that there are other online resources as well. And I'll, I'll look up and see if I can find some um, after I post this video and I'll have those links underneath as well. With the bentonite clay, I have links up on my bentonite clay video, but I'll have links up for those as well. Usually you get the food grade kind in six pound buckets, but then also you can buy larger bags at agricultural stores like IFA or other places um, in the form of pond seal clay or swell clay. Um, those I would not take internally, but they do work great topically. And so, in fact, I just had a burn and used the swell clay for that, and it worked great for that. So it's just a way to get lots of clay on hand. Uh, the clay is, is kind of expensive for six pounds. It's about, um, it depends on where you're getting it from, 35 to $50 for the six pound bucket. But like I said, I'll have those links and resources underneath the video, including that PDF printable information sheet. Um, so I hope you've learned a little bit more about these and understand the differences, benefits, the strengths of these and, and why it would be good to have each one of them on hand. 
Um, I hope this information has been useful and helpful to you. I will be creating more videos soon, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.